Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet this clover stitch, which is a very lacy stitch as you can see, but it's fairly simple to work using triple stitches and V stitches and a few pico stitches thrown in there as well. So it's a wonderful stitch pattern to make if you're looking to make something lacy like a shawl or a summer cardigan. Uh, this is possibly the one for you. Today for the tutorial I'm going to be using a little bit of worsted weight cotton yarn. This is the Pima Cotton by Line Brand and a 5mm or an H8 crochet hook. Links to these items can be found in the description of this video. Also in the description you'll find a direct link to the free written instructions which is on my website at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here I invite you to subscribe, take a look around. This channel is updated every single Sunday morning with a new free crochet stitch tutorial as well as free crochet patterns throughout the week. Our stitch today is worked in rows so we're going to start by making a slip knot and then by working a foundation chain. Your foundation chain today will need to be a multiple of five stitches so today I'm going to start by chaining 25. Once you've worked your foundation chain, you're going to begin row one by working two triple stitches into the fifth chain from your hook. So count in one, two, three, four, five. Into this fifth chain, you're going to work two triple stitches. Your chain four at the start of your row counts as a triple stitch. You're then going to skip the next four stitches. Into your next stitch, you're going to work three triple stitches. A pico to work your pico, chain three and then slip stitch back down either into that first chain or into the top of your triple stitch. Sometimes I like to work right into the top of my stitch. I find it just makes a tighter pico. You're then going to work two more triple stitches all into the same stitch. So you'll have a total of five triple stitches worked into that one stitch. You're then going to repeat that. Skip the next four stitches into your next stitch. Work three triple stitches. A pico. followed by two more triple stitches into the same stitch. Repeat that all the way across until you have five stitches remaining. When you come across row one and have five stitches remaining, you're going to skip the next four stitches and into your final chain, simply work three triple stitches. That brings you to the end of your row one. For row two, we're going to chain five and turn our work. You're then going to skip the first three stitches, which are your three triple stitches, and into the next space, so the space between the next two triple stitches, you're going to work a triple stitch 
chain two and triple stitch all into the same space between the two sets of triple stitches here. You're then going to chain two, skip the next five stitches and into the next space work triple, chain two, and a triple. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Chain two, skip the next five stitches, into the next space, work a triple stitch, chain two, and a triple stitch. All the way across. When you come to your final set of three triple stitches, which is includes that starting chain four, you're going to chain one and work a triple stitch into the top of your starting chain four. That brings you to the end of your row two. For row three, you're going to chain four and turn your work. Next you're going to skip the first chain one space and into your chain two space you're going to work three triple stitches a pico followed by two triple stitches all into that same chain two space. You're then going to skip the next chain two space and into the next chain two space. Repeat, work three triple stitches a pico followed by two triple stitches into the same space and you're going to repeat that all the way across. When you come across at the end of row three you're going to finish off with a triple stitch into the fourth chain of your starting chain five. This brings you to the end of row three. You're going to chain five and turn your work. For row four, we're going to begin by working a triple stitch into the first stitch. So this is the stitch at the base of our foundation chain. Work one triple stitch. You're then going to chain two, skip the next five stitches, and into the next space, work a triple stitch, chain two, and triple stitch. You're going to repeat this all the way across, chain two, skip the next five stitches, into the next space, work a triple stitch, chain two, and triple all the way across until you come to your starting chain. When you come across you're going to chain two, skip the fi final five stitches, into the top of your starting chain four you're going to work a triple stitch, chain one, and triple stitch into the top of that chain four. This brings you to the end of row four. You're then going to chain four and turn your work. 
For row five, we're going to begin by working two triple stitches into the first chain one space. Next, skip the next two, chain two space into your next chain two space, work three triple stitches, a pico, followed by two more triple stitches all into the same chain two space. You're then going to repeat that all the way across. Skip the next two stitches into your next stitch to uh, skip the next chain two space story and into your next chain two space work three triple stitches followed by pico and two more triple stitches into the same chain two space all the way across until you've come to your final chain one space. When you come across to your final chain one space, into that chain one space, you're simply going to work three triple stitches. This brings you to the end of row five. You're then going to chain five and turn your work. And that's it for the repeat for this pattern. From here on end, you're simply going to repeat your rows two through to five for as long as you would like, fasten off and weave in your ends. And that's all there is to work in the clover stitch. So thank you so much for joining me. Once again, don't forget to subscribe if you happen to make this stitch. Feel free to share a photo with me by tagging Rich Textures Crochet on social media. And then uh, say hello down in the comments. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Until then, happy crocheting. Mm -hmm.